just wanted to update you guys. The car's booked in. Um, and it's interesting, I rang my local branch and they were still like, we can't do it. I know, because I had the letter. No, sorry, we still can't do it because we haven't got the parts. Um, contact us back in two weeks. Ford aren't giving us the parts or whatever. So I rang where I bought the car from. Uh, which is TCH in Derby, which is an hour away, and they can book me in, and they have booked me in for the 23rd of May, which is not brilliant to be honest, but at least it's booked in, so there's a positive, and it looks as though they'll give me a courtesy car, although I haven't had the courage to ask what they'll give me yet. Um, it'd be interesting to see how Ford treat me being basically the owner of one of their premium vehicles. If I drive out of there in a bottom of the range KA or Fiesta, I will not be overly amused. I'm getting the car out more now the weather's changed and uh, now I know that I've got a date that's being fixed. For some reason in my mind that's, that's giving me more freedom to uh, go out and explore. In addition, other news um, regarding uh, the car situation is the Mini has decided that after one year and just 9,000 9, miles is eaten a pair of rear brake pads. The alarm went off the other day and Haley has now got a red warning light so you can carry on but with caution. I had a look at them and it's worn one of the brake pads away on the, the right offside sorry, the rear offside. Um, somehow it's managed to eat that in, in the course of a year. So I'm not very impressed by that. And the only thing I can think is that even when that car sits for one day, it seems to develop like that sort of build up of rust on the disc brakes that you can actually hear clicking as it goes and you need to brake to get it off. Even, it can sit for 24 hours and it's there. So I can't, I'm just wondering whether that's why it's gone so quickly that it's worn it off. And I've looked at the pads, it, it is low on that side. 